Three. All right, it is the top of the hour. This is Frank, your host. Uh, I'll be your host today again. I don't have a guest speaker today, and we have a pretty short uh, presentation to even talk about today. We're at pretty much the end of the offering for the uh, property out at Colorado Springs. Sandra Lehman is our uh, direct uh, connection there. She is she is the uh, broker in charge, and in addition to that, she's the listing agent. So um, w she has already begun accepting LOIs from the community. It's gotten out into the community, wasn't supposed to, but it got out into the community and there are builders right there in Colorado Springs that are um, seizing the opportunity and have actually submitted some letters of intent. Now, a letter of intent and proof of funds is an acceptable offer, but it's not a contract. And so until she writes a contract, if you have any uh, interest whatsoever in that property in Colorado Springs, if you have any interest in that whatsoever, you need to be contacting Sandra as quickly as humanly possible with at least a letter of intent and letting her know that you are interested and you are doing whatever it takes for you to do either your due diligence or if you're trying to seek funds, then uh, acquiring your funding. Now, we had some people who were asking me if there are any different sources of funding other than the one that I've um, had up on the screen all along. I'm going to scroll up here to um, if. Um, if you need funding, you have several to choose from, okay? And click here only gives one. And so if you are interested in the other two, I've got three actually, a total of three, that will fund a deal like this. This is a fairly large deal. Um, it is $9.2 million. Somebody who wants to take down this whole property might want to ask for more than $9.2 in order to have the funding to do all of the infrastructure and get the ball actually rolling and get some um, uh, spec houses built. You're probably going to need to have two or three spec houses built. You have to probably put in a, a road just to at least get into the beginning of the property. Remember, this is 825 acres. There are hundreds and hundreds of lots that are available. And um, they are selling it as one complete package. They're not piecing it out. That's the, one of the reasons they were not l releasing it locally because um, they didn't want to just piece it out. They wanted to sell the whole package as one big package. So <clears throat> if you're looking for funding, We've, uh, we've put up some uh, one funding for 1%. It was the lowest funding that I've ever seen. And we have another funding uh, for 3%, 3% uh, down. And then we have another funding that is more traditional. It's a traditional company. They'll actually physically go out there, walk the dirt, and all of this. But in order for us to even take advantage of any of these other deals or other funding, we first have to get in touch with Sandra. Sandra Lehman is the listing agent. She is the broker in charge. So we do need to contact Sandra. And uh, her number is prominently listed everywhere, 719-629-6330. And let her know, and let her know with a letter of intent, if you intend to move forward, if you intend to do your due diligence, if you intend to make a bid, any of those intentions, if you have such intentions, you need to please contact Sandra. Like I said, um, it, has, it has leaked out, and now she's getting some uh, local people. Now, she would like us to be the ones that market it because 
you know, I've we've been working on it for well over a month, almost two months now, in our planning stages and everything. So she would love to see somebody with I within our group get it. But you know, the fiduciary duty of a realtor is to bring all offers to the seller. Doesn't matter whether they're acceptable or not acceptable. Doesn't matter whether they're written up professionally or scratched on the back of a napkin. Um, she's got to bring all offers that's her legal duty, fiduciary duty, is to submit all offers to the seller as soon as she gets them. She's already done that. The seller does have some of the offers in his possession. But that doesn't stop you from moving forward as well. Your offer, even on a letter of intent or anything, might be better than the offer that he has and you might take it. And they might take it because we have put in a tremendous amount of work. I mean, a tremendous amount of work we put in devoted to this. And they would certainly love to see one of our group take it down. So funding, if you need more funding other than the 1% or the 3% or the uh, somewhat traditional, it's not exactly traditional, but it's somewhat traditional. Um, I have three different sources of funding that you could, uh, you could get. All you need to do is you do need to not waste any time. You can get in touch with me, Frank, at ezfinancialgroupllc.com. It's just like this down here. Frank at ezfinancialgroupllc.com. You don't need the agents part of it. And just tell me that you want to, you, you know, you're interested in finding out more information about the other funding sources. Let me know. And I will certainly uh, do what it takes to get you that information as quickly as I can. Um, speed is now, um, is now the operative word we really have to. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm that, that's all I really had to say today. And it's going to be one of my shortest calls ever, unless I open it up for questions and people want to ask me some questions. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and open it up for questions. So if you have a question, shout out your name, tell me where you're calling from, and go ahead and ask the question, and I'll do the best that I can do to answer your questions. So, any questions? Go ahead and unmute yourself, shout out your name, tell me where you're calling from, and I'll answer them. Jeff, ask me a question to get it started. Oh my God, if Jeff doesn't have a question, I'm in trouble. I was, I was so busy listening, I forgot to think of a question. Oh my God. Willie doesn't have any questions. Oh my God. Willie doesn't have a question. Oh, that, oh, this is Jeff. But I Willie, know. no question, Willie? I guess not. Jeff, anything? <laughs> you think of anything you want to know? Okay, Jeff, let, let me ask you a question. You submitted a deal and um, you submitted a deal and that uh, person, can you tell me about the interest level that you feel that that person has? Well, to be honest with you, I would, I told Sandra to, um, to do what she had to do based on your input and her input. Okay. So, uh, when you submitted that client for the, for, for it, did that client seem like he was at all interested in building something there and, and he seemed interested, but I don't think it's gone any further. Okay. Sandra has been in touch with him. Okay. All and, right. And I don't. I don't know. They're from Florida, so I suspect that while they have done business in Colorado, perhaps uh, didn't fit. I don't know. They saw the whole paperwork. Oh, so they signed their NDA, and Sandra sent them all the paperwork. Then, okay. Sandra just sent the paperwork to me to, to send to them. I'm here. I see. All right. Okay, well, any other questions before we... Somebody said I'm here. Maybe it was that Sandra or who? I don't know. Who, who yelled out I'm here? 
I don't know. I've been talking to the kids. <laughs> first Lady is here with us. Boy, welcome, First Lady. I haven't seen you before. Thank you. Um, all right, well, Lynn. Yeah, here's, a, here's a question for you, Frank. <laughs> In unsecure funding, the first thing we do, of course, is, is hope, hope they have a LLC or corporation or something. And uh, we're going for corporate. Let's say we can't get that. Can they go for personal? That's a fantastic question, Jeff. I'm glad you asked that. The answer is yes, absolutely. Now, when you started off, you said the first thing you go for is corporate. Well, actually, that's not accurate. Um, oh. You can start off without a corporation or without anything. You can just go for the unsecured working capital, and you can apply for the working capital before you get your organization started, whether it's an LLC, S Corp, or C Corp. However, before we fund, you, you need to have your Secretary of State done and then we can fund if we're funding into a LLC, a C Corp, or an S Corp. Now, if the person decides that they don't want to go through that, they just assume not, then we have two other unsecured vehicles. One is UPF, unsecured personal funding, and we have PTL, which is personal term loan, and both of those can be applied for and received with no corporation and no LLC of any kind. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. <coughs> Great question. Um, I, seeing, where, seeing where Jeff has taken our mind off of the, pro, of the subject at hand, but it's okay. Um, I do have plenty of time left into it. Um, are there any other questions, or do you have any other questions along those same lines, Jeff? I'll take that as a no. All right. I don't. Okay, so anyone else has any questions, again, just unmute yourself, shout out your name, tell me where you're calling from, and I'll answer the question. But I'm going to say something now that... Um, that is very, very important, and that is with regard to submitting deals in. A lot of the underwriters and myself are spending a lot of time um, trying to guess what each one of these files are. For example, some people will send in a credit report, they'll send in an application, and they'll send in pictures of the property, which are the things that we're going to need. They might have an appraisal, which are the things that we're going to need to fund the deal. The problem is they, they come in downloaded from the internet in whatever fashion the internet presented them to you. For example, the credit report might say one, two, three, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, and it, and John Smith. It may not say anything about the word credit report. So now we have to guess what is the credit report and what is the appraisal and which one of these is the um, offer to purchase. We don't know. So we spend an enormous amount of time opening up files and it's, it, it slows everybody down and frustrates everyone. So what I need everyone to do when they submit deals, the first word of each file, you open the file, and if the file says one, two, three, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, John Smith, you change it, rename it, go to the, um, I forget the word they call it, but, but just rename the file, credit report, John Smith. Now there's no guesswork. And the first word needs to be what it is. Appraisal. 123 Main Street, John Smith. Or um, offer to purchase. 123 Main Street, John Smith. 
So you just rename the files, however the client gives them to you, you just rename them to whatever it is, the first word needs to be the, in the description so that we're not spending an enormous amount of time, which is what's happening now. And we should also remember an acronym, C-I-A-P. C is for credit, I is for income, A is for asset, P is for property. That in the funding world is called a stacking order. So it should be stacked. First word is a credit report, credit. Income is the bank statements if they're required. A, assets, any other assets they have, houses, property, land, yachts, airplanes. And last thing, P, is the property, which is called also the subject property, C-I-A-P. If you can remember, C-I-A-P, credit, income, asset, property, and give it to our underwriters in that stacking order it and have the first word of each description being what it is, it will make our job so much easier that all of the files will sail through and there won't be a lot of frustration and, and animosity and anger and delays if we know C, credit, I, income, A, the assets, P, the property that we're looking at, CIAP, if we got that, all of our ducks can be in a row and we can have a happy day and everyone will get funded fast. That's the point. I want everyone to be funded fast. So you know what? Everyone gets paid fast. All right. Well, Frank, this is Jeff. Yes, um, when we're doing a 100% COTV, yes. we don't necessarily need all of those things, but then we really do because we'd like to know something about who we're dealing with from, exactly. the, from the buyer. Is exactly, that correct? Exactly right. So, so what Jeff is asking is on 100% CLTV, that is where that's our no doc no, no documentation required. So there is no documentation required. Nothing is going to prevent you from getting the loan. So if you have a credit report and a driver's license, for example, the credit report won't be used against you if it's a 400 FICO. It'll just be for identification purposes only. Um, income. If your income is you're retired and you're living on Social Security, that's not going to be held against you, but it would be nice to know that, you know, you are getting a little bit of money. And then the property, we're not going to lend anything to anybody unless we know where the property is. And when I say property, I want the uh, description of the property, if you have an appraisal of the property. And because we're buying a pig and a poke, we don't know your backyard. We don't know your neighborhoods. We need to see as many pictures as possible on the inside, the outside, from all four corners, looking at the property from the road, looking at the road from the property, and then looking at all the rooms on the inside. If there's rehab that needs to be done, it's okay, we understand. You know, you can do that, but we need a lot of pictures. So the last one, P, property, the sub folders under P would be the appraisal of the BPO, the pictures of the property inside and out, and anything you can tell us about the property, like um, I'm going to add an addition to it, I'm going to knock down the middle wall and um, put in an open floor plan, any of those things are wonderful. It's, there's, no, there's no dark loan. There are no bank reports needed. There are no three years of taxes needed. There is no, the credit report isn't needed 
for de for evaluation, just as identification. So that's what that's what Jeff was asking on the hundred percent CLTV. Do I have to put out all of that stuff on the application? It has room for all of those questions. And the reason it has room for all of those questions is it is a duo application. It can be used as a straight full doc loan, or it can be used as a no doc loan. It's one application that fits both. I hope that answers that question for you. Jeff, any other questions? This has turned out to be a good training exercise. Any other questions? Okay, um, Kimberly, do you have anything that you need to add or would you like to um, say anything to anyone? Okay, I guess not. All right, well, this was a very short call today, only 25 minutes, but I thank everyone for taking the time out of their busy schedule to be with Lunch with the Leaders. We look forward next, next week, have a little bit longer call. And I hear somebody, somebody have anything they want to say? Hey, Frank, Frank this is Jeff again. Okay. I want to thank you for going over that CIAP, that kind of uh, basic information. Some of us would like to learn a little bit about every week pertaining to something. Well, something I, about our subject, our overall subject, you know, something like what is a 100% seal TV? A lot of people may not realize what it is that get on the call. Well, it's funny that you should ask that, Jeff. I hope you ask that again next week because that is exactly what my intentions are. I want to, I want to give a, bring a couple of little nuggets of, of knowledge. And, you know, I have 36 plus years in funding. So, you know, we old timers take it for granted that everybody knows what we know, but I, you're absolutely right, Jeff. So that was I'm sure, I'm sure some people on the call, you know, are very experienced or some experience and know what a lot of abbreviations are. But in the past, a lot of times people are talking to me in a professional manner and they're using abbreviations. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> okay. Because well, some of us on here are not 36 years experience. <laughs> okay. So, Jeff, that was my, that those are my intentions every week. I'm going to bring a couple, of, a couple of nuggets so that, so that I can share the nuggets so I can share the knowledge. All right, my friends. Thank you guys. Any last questions? Flossie, good to see you. Haven't seen you on with us in a long time. Glad you could make it. I hope it was beneficial to you. All right. Well, with that, Thanks, Frank. I'm going to say God bless everyone. And you have a great day.